hello guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to work on yet another python code so this project is going to be specifically for beginners so if you are new to python then this video is for you now what we have to build in this video uh, we have to work on a text calculator so this is not going to be a full-fledged text calculator because this is specifically for beginners so we are going to create a GUI interface which is your UI uh, user interface and in that we will have option to provide input the text percentage and then we will see the calculated text so this is what we have to do now before we work on this code if you are new to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel yet please do I have seen a lot of people are watching my videos but not subscribing and it is really demotivating so if you are watching this please subscribe now let's not waste any more time and, and let's just work on the video so for this code we need a library first so in your favorite uh, terminal you just need to install pip tick enter this is basically a library uh, through which we can create a GUI interface right for this we just need to do tk and that's it All right, so as I can see, it is installed. Now let's work on the code. All right, let's create a new file. Now let's import All right, so first thing first is that we are going to create a class because why not and we are using class so we are going to have an init method all right so this method is going to be used for initializing a lot of things so for now let's keep it empty now we need a main method which is going to execute our text calculator so if name equals equals main in that case create an object of text calculator so what do we need basically so when we talk about a GUI interface we need a box uh, which is basically going to comprise every button every field so let's first create that box then we are going to create fields and then button afterwards we need a functionality or a logic on that button click so we will work on that as well now as I said we need a box which is going to be a window now we need few properties for this window like title and the dimensions so I'm going to create it 300 by 300 now to run this code we need a method main uh, sorry run and let's do self dot window dot main loop all right now we can try to test it out Oh, okay. I made a mistake. I didn't call the method run. So it's 
so as you can see we have a box and you can resize it to whatever size you want you can even maximize this now we are not going to have a lot of details here so it would be better if we can keep the size constant so that it won't result in an in a bad experience right bad user experience so for that we will just do self dot window dot resizable and here we will do false and false now if we run this so as you can see this button this maximize thing is disabled and i don't see that option to resize from anywhere right so so yeah this is working fine now we have the box ready now what we need to do is we need to add the fields and the button so let's do that so first thing is going to be we need uh, what is your income right so uh, salary so this is going to be in our window and the text is going to be salary like this now we need to provide the position to uh, which is going to be like at which place you want to keep this label so in the grid we have x and y coordinates so that is going to be defined by row and column so row 0 column 0 which means that the first row and the first column now let's run this so here you can see that we have the salary but we don't have the text box but we can see the salary now if you notice uh, there is not much space uh, between the heading and from the side as well so it looks ugly let's fix that so we need padding for this now if I go to this method grid so here you can see that we have iPad X iPad Y as well as pad X pad Y so we are going to use pad X and pad Y for X and Y coordinates similarly so here I will say pad X is going to be your uh, let's say 10 and pad Y also 10 all right now let's run this again so we have space here we have space here this looks good and yeah let's increase this to 20 let's see yeah this is better all right so now we have the label similarly we can have a label for your rate of interest your tax percentage so here i will say tax or let's just say percent and here i will say tax percentage now let's run this again oh okay so if you see this uh, this got overridden so first we had salary label at 0 comma 0 now this got overridden by percent right because we didn't change this so let's do one and run again right so here you can see text percentage at row one now we need another label for showing the tax amount that is going to be cut from the salary right so text level okay so i could have copy i can copy this 
and instead of percent let's do tax and this is going to be your row 2 alright so this is working fine okay so this formatting is weird because uh, we have a lot more characters here instead of salary and tax so this is that I can edit it to percent to make it look more user friendly yeah so alright now we have the label now we need text field where we can actually provide the input so salary field entry self dot window and that's it now salary field dot grid so this is same now we are doing the positioning here so this is going to be at the same row but column one and you can use the same padding here as well alright so let's see now so yeah I can type anything here that's good and similarly I'll copy this to percent and text So let's run this now. Okay, so I have salary, I have percent, and now I just need a button. Self so dot window text equals to words to calculate, and now we need a command so what it will do when we press this button right so that is the command so i'm going to create this command for now let's do calculate text and then the position so this is third row column is going to be one and then i need padding okay now let's run this okay so I'm seeing some error okay so the reason I'm getting this error because I didn't create this so let's do that quickly okay first thing first we need to get this salary we need to convert it to float as it is going to be in string by default so salary and field okay so we are not okay here there we go salary field dot cat all right so we are not seeing this because we don't have the access alright similarly we need self here okay so salary and then percent now we need to calculate and then update so first let's calculate the tax 
salary multiplied by your percent and then we need to divide it by 100 now we need to have only two decimal points otherwise we are going to see a lot of decimal points which is not going to look good so to do that all right so something like this now we need to update this text on your text field right so to do that first is that we are going to delete the existing entry and then we are going to insert the new entry so how do we do that uh, first we need the access on this field now so delete and Uh, what was it and all right now let's insert text field dot insert and here I'll just put text so let me give you this entry so this is the entry index and this is the last index right so we deleted everything from here and then we added the new value at index 0 with the value right so I hope this is clear now we have everything we have the function as well and we should be able to have, we should be able to see everything working so now let's try this okay I'm getting error again now what went wrong okay ideally this should work let me restart my visual studio all right so now let's try again voila i didn't do anything no, this was somehow not working in visual studio anyways let's see so let's put 10 lakh as the salary all right now percent is going to be 10 percent so it is going to be one lakh if we calculate the tax here all right so let's count the zero one two three four five yeah so this is good right so this is, this is working fine and you can try again with anything you want this should work so if i add one more zero it should add one more zero here so this is doing that so this is working fine so this was it what i wanted to do in this video if you have any questions related to this code do let me know on the comment section um, i'll try to help also i have the code in bitbucket repository so whatever i have created till now with python automation whatever i have um, in my system i have put it up here so if you want to look at the code you can do that I'll put this link in the video description as well so just take a look and if you need any specific video on any specific topic do let me know uh, I'll try to create a video on that so so yeah if you are here till now then please like share and subscribe and I will meet you in some another video till then have a good day stay happy and keep learning bye bye